Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be trying out some new techniques with minifigure posing on this photography vlog. I'm super excited to get into this because I've never done it before. But before we can get out there and do some fun stuff with some minifigures, we're going to have to get prepped first. Our satchel is now completely loaded up and yes, it's a satchel. It's not a purse, all right? I don't care what you say, it's not a purse. So without further ado, let's move out. <laughs> On our way to the photography spot, I picked up our secret weapon, which is actually gonna be some mounting putty, this stuff right here. Put it in front of my face, focus. All right, so we've officially arrived on location. It's these rocks here. They just look perfect. There's like all these little crevices and stuff that I can put minifigures in and pose them up real nice. So I'm excited about this one, guys. Okay, so after circling around a little bit, I finally found a good spot. It's right there above my Mountain Dew there. And uh, climbing up here. <sighs> I like all this, oh, oh my gosh, I almost fell and died. I like all this green algae coming along in this area here. It's gonna look really nice with the red Bad Batch. While I'm here, I'm also gonna show you guys how to use the putty to stick in between the minifigure joints to get them in non-Lego poses, uh, more akin to like an action figure or something like that, but just something to bring a little bit more drama to the photo. Because after all, the, the minifigure is the subject. It should grab your eye right away. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna pop the head off of our minifigure here. I'm using Hunter first, and uh, we're just gonna take a little bit of this sticky tack here. We're gonna ball it up, smaller amount there, and we're just gonna kind of apply it onto there and wrap it around where you would normally put the minifigure head. And then after that, you just put the helmet on. Boom, and now Hunter is looking up. I'm now gonna do the same thing with Hunter's arm here. We're just gonna kind of cram it in to the little armhole and pull the excess off and then kind of clean up around the edge here so it's not visible. And also like the way you frame your shot will also affect how much of this stuff is gonna be visible. And then we'll just go ahead and plug in the arm. So if I shot it this way, you wouldn't be able to see it. If I shot it this way, it's visible. So we're gonna work on our shot and our framing. Um, but now you can basically see that I can make it look like his shoulder is a little raised, which is something you typically could not do with regular Lego minifigure articulation. Okay, so this is the pose that we've got for our boy Hunter here. I've got him kind of moving forward, so it looks like he's going to be slicing this battle droid right in half. And I'll be using my fingers just to hold it up in the air. We'll of course crop it out uh, in post, but this should be a really cool picture. You're in for a surprise. Okay, so I'm actually really satisfied with how this little pose over here turned out. I think it looks really cool, really dynamic, and I'm really excited to move on to another one. I didn't have to go very far to find where I wanna shoot my next shot because the rocks right above the one where we just shot from have like this cool, almost like red, orange texture on them, and it looks kinda otherworldly. And with Cal's blue outfit and orange hair, that should match perfectly. So we're gonna put Cal up here and have some fun with him doing some hero pose style shots. Okay, so for Cal's pose here, I want to kind of have him holding the saber out and behind him. So we're gonna kind of shove that arm in there and uh, turn his head maybe. See, that is just so cool to me. Like on this side, it looks awful, but when you turn it around, it's like this super natural pose that is just unattainable in a Lego figure's form. I think it just looks so good. I'm so glad I'm trying this out. And something else that I wanna mention is if you get a little bit of this and put it on the bottom of your character's foot, it helps a lot with trying to get them to stand. Because they're in these dynamic poses, it can make them very difficult to balance. Uh, but as you can see, his legs are completely split and there's zero issues with him standing. So as you guys can see, this is the pose that I've got for Cal and BD here. It's so cool, man. Like this tack just completely changes the game. Uh, it just looks so action packed and like there's a story unfolding. It's great. Resistance and the force is my ally. So if you guys already haven't figured this out, I'm in love with this new technique. I mean, like just, just 
Just look at it. You're able to get your minifigures in such dynamic poses, which is just stuff that's impossible for Lego minifigures. It changes the game, it changes your photos drastically, and if you have not tried this out yet, you really should. This is my first time doing it, and it's like not even hard. It's just you put some sticky tack in some crevices. Yikes, that sounded weird. You put some sticky tack in the like typical joints of a Lego figure, and you just pose away. It is amazing. I am thrilled for the future of my photography vlogs and, and just photos in general. Yeah, I love it. Guys, I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and also learned something along the way, just like I did. If you guys would like to see some of my other photography stuff, go follow me on Instagram at Cal underscore Westis. I also have some work with official Lego Star Wars, so go ahead and check that out in the description below. Thank you for watching, and as always, may the force be with you. You know what else I love? Some crisp, cold Mountain Dew, baby. <sighs> I'm sure you guys just heard every gulp from this throat on that microphone.